Welcome to another episode of People Saying and Doing Dumb Shit. On today's episode, we got Tyrese Gibson's ex-wife, Samantha Lee, who is going viral on all social media platforms for opening up about her decision to divorce the actor and singer, claiming the opinions of others heavily affected her choice to divorce her husband. Just watch the video. If I had different people in my ear at that time, I would not have made that decision. No. Oh. I wouldn't. And that's the truth. I um, I try my very best at this point in my life to be what I didn't have in that moment. Um, because I think that I was... <sighs> women were like, I'm an extremely emotional person. People that know me know that about me. I'm the kind of person that like, okay, I feel so strong and I can ruminate. I can get so lost in my thoughts. I know a lot of women are like that. Like we're a lot, not all of us, right? But some of us are just like a lot of men can be like that. But I know women specifically, I'm ready to be done. I'm ready to be done. I'm ready to be done. I can't stand this. He don't do this. He don't do that. Blah, 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 blah. We're just focusing on these things. And because you don't have, you don't have a certain um, person in your life to say, to check you and say, sis, what about this? What about this? What about these strengths? What about what he's not doing? What like those types of things? Um, that's that can that can get you thinking about the positive aspects of this person that you may not be thinking about when you're upset. You're only thinking about what you're mad about. Yeah. You're not thinking about all the other positive aspects of this person. Um, and so in those moments, you need somebody to be the, the person for that person yeah um in those moments you know what's crazy the red pill bullshit will forever live long as long as there are women who are easily influenced and lack accountability and she's a perfect example of it if you watch the video she's still not taking accountability of her actions by blaming other people i was watching the video and was like okay when does she say it was my damn ass fault but instead she said it was peer pressure peer pressure at your big age really what she failed to realize was that misery loves company and she let her so-called friends win. They wanted what she had, they couldn't have it, so they didn't want her to have it either. She was weak and she let them control her. So congratulations, lady. You played yourself. So ladies and gentlemen, what we learned in this Tyree situation is that women can convince their friends to leave a good man, but for some odd reason, they can't convince them to leave their abusive and unfaithful men. But hey, what do I know? Let me know what you think in the comments down below.